So this place is uh, busy and wild. We're gonna get down uh, once the sun goes away and uh, hopefully put on a heck of a show. So we're all kind of thinking the same thing and that is the Junkyard Stude is here to take this. And I'm gonna do what I can to stop that. the jack stands. I'll get it. That's good, that's good. Let's go racing. I'm Justin Mahachek. I uh, race the Afterburner, the 280Z. It's a small block Ford twin turbo, uh, Haltech powered. Uh, we're running a small tire tonight. And we're gonna do uh, everything we can to try and compete with the best that there is racing tonight. Lots and lots of fast guys. And we're gonna do everything we can to try and compete with them. And, Hopefully put somebody on the trailer. Good luck, man. It's a safe night. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? Yeah? yeah? How did you guys like the car show today? Yeah. Hell yeah. How did you like the skid pad? Woo! Oh my god. I haven't seen that level of American burnout ever. I think a few shows around the U.S. Collectively, that was insane. And the Australians are awesome, but there were a few car American cars I'm just gonna say I know how burnouts are judged. I don't think they're gonna, I think it's a few American cars to come out. It was insane. But anyway, uh, just changes new things. I actually agree to take a little bit from every event around the world that I like and bring it here for you guys. And that's what you guys are all about. So I just want to say thank you guys. You are the show tonight. And you guys are gonna put on one hell of a show. We've got some people to come here to beat Beater Bomb. It's gonna happen. Where are you at, Joey? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you didn't pay for your VIP spot, so next year make sure you're not parked there unless you buy one. Oh, I love you. Oh, you moved up? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, uh, Joey's going out first round. Does anybody want to call? Are we doing call outs? Yes. Oh, we're just, just skip right to it. Who wants to call out Joey first? First hand in the first hand. Oh. Anybody? Anybody? Oh, Would you accept? Backfire, <laughs> Kyle. Does he want to join 650? <laughs> <laughs> Fred's gonna put up a bounty, thousand dollars out of Fred's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey guys, my name is Jordan Sharp. We're out here racing our blue Mustang tonight at uh, Ice Cream Crew Small Tire In By Race. We're gonna see how far we can get tonight. 
I'm Joey Heichel, owner of the Beater Bomb. <laughs> I've owned it a long time. We're out here at the Ice Cream Cruise. It is a very, very large car show at my local racetrack, I-29. And tonight is the $10,000 to win small tire class. Uh, they usually, it's invite only, and they kind of handpick cars here and there, and they've, they've uh, gathered up some uh, very fast cars, so uh, it's going to be pretty interesting, and we'll see how we, how we fare up against uh, pro mods, you know, basically, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we knew the rules showing up, and it isn't the first time we've raced quote-unquote pro mods, but here we are. How's it going everybody? Brandon Sandlin here with the Junkyard Stude. Evolved. Added the Evolved. We used to be a big tire car. Uh, finally made the switch over to small tire. It's a challenge and we like challenges. Um, we're here at the Ice Cream Cruise 2024. They have a uh, 16 car invite field for small tire and we were lucky enough to get the invite. This is an amazing event. Lots of people, lots of cars. It's amazing. Um, Came here to see if we can hang hang with everybody on small tires out here. It's our second event on smalls, and see if we can get it to work. We uh, we laid down quite a quite a pass last night testing, and see if we can string them together and bring home a win. Hey, I'm Jimmy Dale. We're out here at Ice Cream Cruise 2024. Out here with Big Blue Chew. Last night we. Uh, we snapped the keyway off in the crank. So we made it about half track and then fireballs started coming out where the fire's not supposed to come out. So we wrenched all day today. I just got done wrenching like five minutes ago and we're gonna try small tire tonight. We don't have enough for them, but you know, we get some test passes because this whole uh, trip with Big Hat Mafia, this is leg one of the trip. Leg two is FL2K. So we're going from Texas to, where are we at, Iowa? Iowa, from Texas to Iowa to Florida, back to Texas. And so we gotta have the car running, so that's why we were wrenching so hard. Um, but I think we got it done. We did a two-step check earlier, and we'll see what happens tonight. Brian, got the Casey Max Firebird over here. We got the family out here. We got a new addition, Henry, Megan, Noah, Logan. So we're right here to race the uh, 16 car Invitational small tire tonight. So, tire rule limits a 28105W. So, we'll see how many showers show up on W's. It's a little warm day, extremely busy, lots and lots of people. I've heard over 20,000 people in attendance out here today. Um, they're at capacity. Wow. So, this place is uh, busy and wild. We're going to get down uh, once the sun goes away and uh, hopefully put on a heck of a show. So we're all kind of thinking the same thing, and that is the Junkyard Stude is here to take this. And I'm going to do what I can to stop that. So we're going to see. We've got some good action coming up, though. Hey, I'm Nathan Wheeler. Uh, this is actually, the I think, the third year that we've been uh, up here at Ice Cream Cruise. Uh, we like to run small tire with my truck. Um, we're from Austin, Texas. And uh, this is a Cummins. It's a 6.7 deck plate Cummins. Um, we have uh, Rosler Turbo 400 behind it, but um, this is, we've had a couple different motors in this. The first one we had was a, a 5.9, it was actually a 6.7 block that we sleeved down, and uh, this one retains the bore, the bigger bore, so it, it produces more, more horsepower. So, um, this one actually, this specific motor from DNJ Precision set, has the world record um, for a chassis dyno at 3,400 horsepower. So uh, it, it makes a lot of horsepower. So we've got a smaller turbo on it for no prep. That's a Garrett 88. Um, I have a Hartz 94, but it just uh, it makes a little too much power for the no, no prep type surfaces. So um, S and S diesel, uh, yeah, S and S diesel most motorsports fueling. We got 14 millimeter pumps. They're big ordnance injectors and nitrous outlet. Uh, five kits of nitrous outlet. Um, nitrous oxide. So, lots of fun. Awesome, thank you. 
How's it going? Brian Gadecki. We got a little pickle. We're down at I-29 Raceway for the ice cream cruise, uh, 1320s race. So we're going to be in uh, small tire tonight. Going up against a bunch of bears, I guess. I feel, I pretty much feel like a duck here. So <laughs> definitely we're like trying to punch over our weight class, but uh, same deal, small block Chevy, big blower on it. Made two test passes last night. Ran the same that it always does pretty much. So it's a bracket car. And then, uh, yeah, I was in the, at the end there packing my chute and uh, Stu made a pass and made me feel really bad about my pass. So that thing's flying. Joey's home track or whatever. So I feel like he could probably go pretty fast here. Like he probably knows like bumps and stuff like that. Half my wins are because the other guy just screwed up. That's a, <laughs> yeah. But we're here having fun. That's the that's the whole point of this thing is have fun doing it. So if you go out first round, whatever, you know, try harder. But uh, keep showing up. Keep can't win a race if you don't show up to the race. We are making our last little bit of preparations for drag racing. We're gonna roll out small you know tire. Left lane, right? One of the baddest men in the land, Joy Heichel and Biederbaum. This is his home track. He is entered in small tire. To be the man, you gotta beat the man.
first round, I wouldn't say by a mile, but barely. Uh, we were first pair out on a pretty shitty racetrack, but that's no prep. I mean, you show up how the racetrack is. Unfortunately, this year, they decided to do first round after all of the show cars drove all over the racetrack, after being all in the field all day. So it, it was pretty shitty up top, and as you can probably see from the past, I mean, it got a little wild, but next round we have a bye. And being first pair out at a no prep is horrible because the data for second round is doesn't correlate because by the time second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth pair go out, the track is getting that much better. And being first pair out, it kind of just sucks. You just got to get down the racetrack and hope you win, which is what we did. But second pair or second round, I'm going to try to, you know, use some normal tune ups that I would use at a regular no prep that I wasn't first pair out. So we'll see how this goes and uh, hope it goes well because uh, there's some fast cars here today and, you know, we need to try to do our best. All right, first round duck again. Was a duck last week at Armageddon a couple times or a duck again. Beat myself, went red way too early. We made a pretty good pass. I think we probably were at the top half of the field for passes to night and first round. It was pretty slippery out there. The car was really grabbing, letting go, grabbing, letting go. So I was really excited for the next round. And then we got back and I was like, I almost see what my rex time was. It felt like it was pretty good and it was red. So. <sighs> After coming off a high, going, hell yeah, we got the Studebaker Baker next round. Let's figure out how we're going to shave some more time off, go get him, take him out because I think we have the car to do it. And then saw that I already beat myself. So we're loaded up. We're driving home. Just got a nice early start. Hey, it's Brian Gadeg with Little Pickle. We didn't go out first round. We weren't a duck. So we're in second round now. We drew the copper Mustang over here. We're just gonna try and go A to B like we normally do, and hopefully we got enough. Well, 
we made it through another round. Uh, we're going into round three now. I think we have uh, Junkyard Stewed, so it's fun. Thanks for following along. <laughs> this is going to be our long ride home, but uh, no, super cool event. Uh, running guys like this is like, it's pretty cool. Like you watch these guys online all the time and they're like top of their game and everything. It's just cool to come down race with these kind of guys. So it's always a good time. But you never know, like stuff happens, you know? Just do what you've been doing and uh, be safe and good luck. Thanks for following. Fireworks time. on the tree. <laughs> Got the button on the seeing wheel. <laughs> no, <thank> you. <laughs> Godecki went 454. <laughs> Joey went 454 and Sammy. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we just got back from semis. Uh, went okay. Won, <laughs> won our race. So, <laughs> uh, feeling pretty good. Told you at the beginning we were shooting for that two grand for second place, so we're there, you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. May I ask Joey if he wants to just split, you know. There you go. Be one of those guys. And then, uh, <laughs> but yeah, feeling pretty good. I just didn't want to be a duck first round, and so now we're here. So we're gonna get this turned around real quick and go up for the finals. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Back Are you up. still in that parking spot? Alright, I'm No, you run last. No, you run last. We'll run whenever you want. Oh, I don't think you understand how important it is for you to beat Joey right now. It's not the big G little low. Let's big, go. What can you run right now? What's the time? Well, can I run? Yeah. Probably like a 5'10. Oh, shit. <laughs> really? You, it's a small block. This. 510 my ass. It's a small block. Oh my god. This thing weighs like 2,000 pounds. <laughs> Joey! He said a car and a half. <laughs> Give him the hand. I gave him lane choice. What? He gave you lane choice? I gave him a thousand dollars. Michelle spent all your money, don't lie. Thanks for coming, man. Oh, yeah, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Good luck. Go beat Joey. <laughs> Change anything? Right now? He said he can run a 510. He said he can run a 510. Like, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> See, this thing weighs. Mm, he said 2,700 pounds. This is 2,650, right? This is 2850. Oh, shit. I have a big block. He has a small block. I know, that, that does change things a little bit. <laughs> it's it's not a street car anymore either. No. <laughs> Yay! All right, we are ready for the small car.
If you think about it, or well, no one may know, but I haven't raced here since the no prep that I hosted. May 4th. I haven't made one single pass here. I don't think the track changed between the thousand passes you made and then today. I don't think it changed that much. And I didn't even test yesterday. Look at you, Flash. Look at you, Flash. It's like you got to figure out a car or something. Got lucky. Got lucky. Like, well, that's what I say every time. Okay. Well, you're $10,000 richer. Congratulations. Congratulations. We'll see you sometime in the future. I don't know what the next one is, but yeah. All right. We'll see you. See ya. So, went to the finals. Lost in the finals. But runner-up. Can't, can't be mad with runner-up, I guess. So, uh... I think what I should have did was probably pulled some power out, but I left the tune up the same as the last pass because it went fast, but it, uh, like you can see in the drive shaft is bouncing around or whatever, so I should have made the call to tone her down a little bit, just because less passes on the track and all that, I guess, but you li live and learn or whatever, I just gotta remember that for next time. So we get to go up and uh, get some money. And then uh, we'll be back on the road and driving back to Canada.